Hey guys. So, we're back. And these are the canvas panels that we poured on to make skins. Um, and we left the plastic on them so that we'd be able to peel them off. And so what I'm going to do is just pick a corner. Probably the front corner. And just go down the edge and loosen it up so that we don't tear it. So this one, for your, those of you that didn't watch, um, it was a strainer pour. I'm just doing it nice and easy. I don't want to stretch it. I don't want to... Well, I tore the corner, but that's okay. And we don't want it to stick to itself. Tore that corner too. That's okay. Some of the corners have like some uh, folds in the plastic and it's causing it to stick. Okay, so there's that side. And here is the back side. It is beautiful, isn't it? And the back side is really shiny because it was against plastic. So yeah, so that's the first one, and I'm just going to flip it right back over and let it sit on this. This way it doesn't get bent or anything. I'm going to move it out of the way. And then we have this one that we also did, and we uh, pulled a line here to make this separate. So these are like three separate, well technically four, but they're separate skins. Um, so this one's not going to peel off. And when we torched it, we put a hole in the plastic there. So if I try to do a skin on this again, whatever's right here is going to go through and not, you know, be a skin. But it still should work everywhere else. These are swipes. And my worry about trying a swipe as a skin is you might accidentally make it too thin. Because if you swipe too much off. So I'm kind of taking a little extra care around these edges. Plus the edges are full of wrinkles so it's hard to get a hold of. If you have an X-Acto knife, um, using that around the edge would probably make it easier to peel. But it would also mess with the uh, plastic. And I'd like to be able to use these to pour over again. So we're just going to kind of do the best that I can. I'm just use a little piece of my nail to pull up along the edges here. Okay. So I do this edge as we go. And it stopped here at this point, but it's not been fully cut. But I don't want to like cut all the way through. So I just want to find something. I don't know where I set my knife. That I can just use. Uh, yeah, a wooden stick is not the answer. Um, here we go. I have a pair of scissors. So here's the first one. There's that side with the cells and stuff. It does have silicone, so if you use it for like jewelry or something, you would want to clean that off. There's the back side of that one. I'm going to sit it to the side on top of some other plastic for right now. Um, just for a moment. I'm going to try to find one of these thicker sides. Because we swipe from this direction this way, so that means these sides, this would have less paint, these sides would be a little thicker. 
I apologize for the background noise. I have requested that volume be turned down on things, but people don't tend to listen to me when I'm trying to work. Even though I ask nicely. Sounds like a pig dying or something. Probably a hunting show. Anyhow. edge. There is silicone on this, which means we do have to clean the silicone off. And because this was a swipe, we pretty much know that the back's going to be just the colors as we laid them down originally. that side and then the back side it is just the colors as we laid them down um, and the blotches that we put on so yeah and then I'm pretty sure that all these little spots right here is where the uh, yeah because I can canvas so that's where the uh, Torch hit just a little hard. But anyway, so there's our skins. I'm going to try to piece them back on semi decent to where they don't get bent. Same thing with this little piece here. Um. But, and then you can stack them on top of each other as long as there's nothing on the back. But of course there's paint on this back so I can't put paint on paint. Um, but I will say that this is my favorite just because of the back side. I love the way the back side turned out. It was gorgeous. So yeah. So we're probably going to do some more pours like this um, to create skins. Because I do have several projects coming up I'm going to need skins for. So we'll try this again soon. Let me know what you think, how you liked it, and if there's another technique you would like me to do when doing skins. <laughs>